Well, a warm welcome to today's talk, Wednesday the 7th of June. Now, first we had this World Health Organization new pandemic treaty. And then we had the uh, World, World Health Organization uh, international health regulations, which are going to be binding on member states and pass by default unless member states get up and actively prevent them from being implemented. Now you'll be pleased to hear there's something else. Uh, the World Health Organization Global Digital Health Certificate. And it must be pretty good because this lady is looking really delighted with what she is reading. Global Digital Health Certificate. More on what it means in this video. Uh, now, this is in cooperation with the European Union. And now these ladies uh, seem to be carrying things donated by the World Health Organization. So um, cl clearly the World Health Organization is a generous organization and is reaching these ladies in this picture. Um, now this is the European Commission and the WHO launched landmark digital health initiative to strengthen global health security. So hopefully you're all feeling more secure. Now, this is built on this original work here from the European Union Digital COVID Certification. So it's being rolled out now uh, on a global scale to this lady's clear uh, delight. So new pandemic regulations, new uh, international health regulations, now a global digital health certificate network. You might have thought the World Health Organization had other things to do. I don't know, uh, global health, for example, but um, it would appear they're uh, on this uh, um, organisational uh, campaign at the moment. Now, let's look at it in a bit of detail because it is pretty uh, pretty important, really. Um, and by the way, my apologies, unreserved apologies to those of you who were cut off mid-viewing on yesterday's video. Believe me, it wasn't what I, uh, what I wanted. Um, I'm sorry that was... Uh, that had to be done yesterday. Um, now, um, WHO Digital Health Certificate Network. So there's going to be an international network, digital. And there's a slight concern at the moment that I have. Um, I've, I've just become aware of the power of artificial intelligence. Combined with the global digital network, we won't go there at the moment. Um, so it's, WHO has established a global digital health certification network. Health certification network. Uh, open source platform built on robust and transparent standards. So glad to see it's transparent. Uh, glad to see it's transparent. Uh, that establishes the first building block of a digital public health infrastructure. So we're going to have a global public health infrastructure. And it's all going to be mediated through the auspices of the World Health Organization. Now, here's their diagram here. So uh, the country here will give their key to the uh, trust anchor. Uh, certificates, provenance on boards, members. So presumably that means they know where the background is and they put people on board. Now, this trust anchor, interesting choice of word here, trust. Of course, this is the... You've guessed it, the World Health Organization, who are uh, controlling this. And uh, then they're going to pass this on to uh, relevant countries. Again, all going through the trust anchor, who is the World Health Organization. And then they're going to allow uh, different countries to distribute it amongst themselves for cross-checking. Uh, so it looks like there's going to be digital, digital communication between the countries of the world, but all made, mediated through the good offices of the World Health Organization. That's what seems to be happening. Developing a wide range of digital products. So it looks like there's more to come, more digital products to come for strengthening pandemic preparedness. Uh, background member states using digital COVID 19 test and vaccine certification are ready. This is the uh, European Union member states. Um, as, as the directing and coordinating authority on international health work at the onset of the pandemic, this is the World Health Organization. So <laughs> we're, we're actually in a situation here where the World Health Organization is mouthing off 
being proud of, bragging about, that they're uh, directing and coordinating of the international health response to the pandemic. Um, I couldn't possibly comment, of course. You might think, and Sigants might think, they didn't do as well as they could. But there we are. Now, um, WHO engages with all regions to define overall guidance for such certificates and publish digital documentation of COVID-19 certificates. So this, is, this was done. This is what the European Union did. It's now being rolled out to the whole world. Uh, there's a recognition of an existing gap, so things aren't where the WHO wants them to be. Maybe the WHO doesn't quite have the amount of uh, oversight and trust anchoring uh, it would uh, like, because we need trust anchors, don't we? Um, who knows why? Continued need of a uh, and continued need of a global mechanism that can support bilateral verification of the provenances of health documents. Okay, so they want cross-checking digitally. Um, the uh, now this g g these acronyms: Global Digital Health Certification Network. <laughs> that one. Um, Digitalisation of international certificates of vaccination or prophylaxis. So everything's going to be digitalised. So vaccinations are going to be digitalised. Prophylaxis, prevention, is going to be digitalised. Ver verification of prescriptions across borders is going to be international digitalization on a single platform. Um, international patient summaries are going to be included. Verification and vaccination certificates within and, ac and across borders are going to be included. They're going to know quite a lot about you, really, aren't they? And uh, the cross-border bit, of course, means that um, um, digitalization could decide, potentially, who crosses borders or even indeed who moves within a particular country. The point is it's all going to be monitored centrally by the World Health Organization. You would have thought that they'd have other things to do, like, oh, I don't know, World Health, something like that. Anyway, this is what they're doing at the moment. Um, right, expanding sub digital solutions will be essential to deliver better health. So this is essential, right? So uh, expanded digital solutions is essential. Now this is a direct quote from the WHO, so it must be right. So expanded digital solutions will be essential. This is essential for your health. A global digital solution is essential for your health. Sit there and be grateful. Say thank you. The uh, I keep forgetting what it is. The um, global digital health certification network <laughs> has been designed to be uh, intraoperable with other existing regional networks, so it should be uh, useful all over the world. Intraoperable. Now this is the EU bit here. This collaboration with the uh, the European Union. And this is detailed on this page here. So do check this out for yourself. These are the material here I've used is mostly direct quotes from the European uh, Union WHO uh, collaboration. Um, now, WHO and European Commission have agreed to partner in digital health and a digital network controlling vaccination, prophylaxis, cross border, whatever was on the list. Uh, the partnership will work to technically develop the WHO system with a staged approach to cover additional use cases. So, uh, in case you were getting concerned that it's only going to be covering these things we've mentioned, don't worry, it's going to be rolled out to other aspects of life as well. So, nothing to worry about there at all. What, what could possibly go wrong? In June 2023, WHO will take up the European Union system of digital COVID-19 certification to establish a global system. So we're establishing a global digital system. Um, but don't worry, it's all controlled by the World Health Organization. Um, you could ask who controls the World Health Organization, but that's beyond the remit of this video. That will facilitate, facilitate global mobility. So if you want to get around, there you go. It'll be facilitated by a certification to establish a global system world coordination world power 
centrally controlled. Dr. Tedros, the uh, former politician in charge of the WHO. WHO, Elmstroth, all member states, on the principles of uh, equity, excellence, innovation, transparency and data protection and privacy. So glad, oh, so, so nothing to worry about. I'm glad to see that's all been taken in hand by uh, the good uh, academic doctor himself. Good. So nothing to worry about. Um, Commissioner for Health and Safety, this is European Commissioner. This partnership is an important step for the Digital Action Plan of the EU Global Health Strategy. Uh, we contribute to digital health standards and interoperability globally. So this is a very much a global uh, global ambition. Uh, Commissioner for the Internal Market, again European Union again. Uh, the European Union certificate has also facilitated international travel and tourism. So it's good that they're facilitating international travel and tourism. Uh, helping people to travel where they want to go when they would like to. Uh, I'm pleased that WHO will build on cutting-edge technology to create a global tool against future pandemics. So the uh, WHO is going to be using cutting-edge technology. Does that mean artificial intelligence? Don't know. Um, does it mean that? Don't say. But it's cutting edge anyway, so we're getting the, the very best that modern technology can throw at this problem. To create a global tool against future pandemics. So this global tool will be available. Can't we all sleep soundly now? One of the key elements in the European Union's work against the COVID-19 pand pandemic has been the global certificate. So yeah, the European has, Europe Union has got these global uh, COVID-19 certificates and the WHO facilitate, facilitate this process globally. It's rolling it out to the world. Under its own structure. Oh, so it's going to be under the WHO structure. Okay. Uh, allow the world to benefit from the convergence of digital certificates. So if you're in the world, good to know that you're going to benefit from this globalization, digitalization, certification process. Expanding such digital solutions will be essential to deliver better health for citizens across the globe. So this is essential. So expanded digital solutions is essential um i mean heck i might have thought that preventing uh, preventable disease was essential preventing treating malaria was essential improving people's diets stopping smoking increasing exercise getting rid of air pollution reducing water pollution reducing economic oppression of the poor i would have thought these things might improve uh, global health but it looks like the priority at the moment is this essential uh, expanding digital solutions. So get this, expanding such digital solutions is essential. It is essential. This is not some sort of option. It is essential. We can't do without this. The WHO and the European Commission will work together to encourage maximum global uptake and participation. So if you're listening in, uh, I don't know, some faraway country in Fiji or Papua New Guinea or work somewhere, don't worry, I think the WHO will get to you pretty soon. And this is essential. Um, I do hope you're able to watch this video to the end. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, let's all just be so, so grateful to this great organisation that is facilitating future world health we'll, we'll leave it there for today if you did have any concerns do contact your own local politicians about this because they still have the power to arrest this process for a short period of time but what you often find is once power is established especially with digital control Weapons that, did I say weapons? Facilities that, that weren't available to previous generations. Um, it's going to be hard to get it back again.